Hey everyone, this is Gleb. Today I have a fun, fun demo for you. Let me reload this page and look what happens. We have a couple floating elements that go away after two and three seconds. And that's it, right? So this is pretty standard. Visit the page and maybe make sure that the loading elements are no longer there. While the loading elements, we have a class loading. So we'll say should not be visible, for example. And notice that it almost works, but then it fails. And it fails because below the fold, if you scroll down, there is another part of the page and it has its own loading element. And that element never goes away right now. When you say get loading elements should not be visible, all the elements have to be hidden. And so if there is one element that still is visible somewhere on a page, then it fails. You can kind of see what's going on right here. It says, okay, there are only two elements, right? And some of them are already invisible, the ones right here. But obviously there is one that's visible, that's why it fails. So if we're not interested in this loading element, how do we check that only the elements in the current viewport become invisible? Okay. Here's what we can do. Just for simplicity, I will start a new custom command. Let's say invisible. And it will take a selector because I don't want to hard code loading. And here's what we will have to do. We will check if an element is inside the viewport. And to get the viewport, we have to get the current application window. And current viewport, you can see inner width, inner height, just from the window object. Okay, now we can query by a selector and retry each element. This is a jQuery object with each element. And we can say each. And what do we get? We get the index and the DOM element. And now we can use Cypress utilities. For example, we can say if Cypress DOM is visible, right? And if, if it's not, we're done. We're done. Right? Cypress already told us that element is invisible. Otherwise, we have to check if element is outside, and let's just do it vertically. We can get from the element the bounding client rectangle. And it's an object with top, right, left, bottom, right here. And this bounding rectangle is inside the current viewport. So, for example, if top is less than zero, but we know that that element is somewhere you know, above the fold. It means we scroll down, so we can say return, right? That element is outside, and you know, we can assume that elements are smaller than whatever scroll is. We can even say, okay, if the bottom, right? So if the bottom side of a rectangle is above a fold, then we're done. If a top is more than inner height, that means that element, the top of it, is still below the fold. We haven't scrolled there yet, so we can return. Right. And what else? Right. Otherwise, that element is still there. Right. It still is visible in the current viewport. So we'll just throw a new error and we'll say still visible. Okay. For example. So let's use this on our page. We'll say sigh and we'll give it loading. So visible, then one goes away, and then it's passing, right? Because all the elements that are loading inside the current viewport became invisible, and we don't care about this element. Now, if we, for example, scroll to the bottom, and let's just say duration, just so it's smoother, one second. So after the loading goes away, scroll, try to scroll to two second. I think it has to be a parent command. Okay, so in this case, what will happen to the loading elements in that viewport? Well, now it actually times out because the current element is still there. Let me modify my application a little bit and hide the current bottom element after five seconds. So in this case, the first two loading elements disappear and we scroll and we keep waiting, and once it's gone, then the assertion passes. So this is how you check if an element is visible or invisible, but in a current viewport only.
for more, read my blog post that will be linked in the description of this video.